everybody, it's Lisa with TNL Pottery. It is my third glaze firing, and today is the day that I get to open my kiln. Yay! projects in here a couple of refires because on my last kiln opening as you saw the uh, a couple of items fused together and some of them dripped onto the kiln shelf and I have some test tiles and I have some other projects in here so I'm, I'm very excited about what what everything looks like so let's get to looking at everything Okay, so I have to admit, I did peek earlier. I'm excited. Okay. Everything's still kind of hot. So, I guess I'll get my gloves. They're not good gloves. See, knocking over stuff. Okay. Alright. So, this was a refire um, on my last firing. It had fused with a cup right here. Can you see? And all I did was grinded it down and touched it up. And it looks like it came out good. Is that a better view? I think so. All right. This is another refire. This was the cup that had fused to the bowl. It had fused right here and you can't even see where it was chipped and all I did was fill in that space with glaze and then it actually had a spot here and a couple of spots on the handle but it, it blended and did that second firing really good and the coloring is actually the river rock has browned a little bit more. I don't know if you can see that. Yay! My refires worked. So these are some of my test tiles. This is the way that they're coming out. They stand up on their own. I put a hole so I can hang them if I want to. I have all my test tiles. So now I know what the colors will look like. That's pretty. On a true cone six. See the, the blue hydrangea, it actually came out more purplish with the blues instead of that clear looking blue color. And I've got some new colors. This is ancient cop. Wait. Ancient something. Copper, I think. Ancient or bronze or something. And I made sure to actually. I put three coats. On most of these, this one came out like a matte color. I don't know what color that one is. Um, I made sure to put three coats of everything so that I could get a really good idea of what the colors would look like. This one, unfortunately, fused to, fell over and fused to the witness cone. So, I'm probably going to chunk it. <laughs> I don't know. I might keep it. But it, it totally wrapped around <laughs> and fused to it. Yay! Ooh-wee. We got some colors here. Okay. 
here is another refire and I know in the last video the last um, it's been hot. the last kiln unload I said I hate stilts what I did this time was instead of putting these little pins since the bottom of my cup doesn't have glaze on it I put it upside down so it would hold it like that so I wouldn't get the little burnt pin holes and so that's this one all of this part right here had gotten fused and I had to reglaze it you can still see there's a light discoloration but it just kind of matches the rest of the breaks in it so I'm gonna bring this to one of our local donut shops and see if uh, they would like me to make them some cups another refire this one actually used to be more pinkish colored and I can see that it ran a little bit more and it's turned a little more blue all I did was a little touch up right here because it had just the smallest little crack because uh, my cat nicked it it fell and it and broke down so I'm still happy with it although well, it's got pinholes a lot of pinholes on one part I'm, I might just keep this for my paint brushes this was a test on the color I had made a hand warmer cup and I realized how big the handle was <laughs> so it looked like an elephant ear coming out of it I was like, I'm not, I'm not going to try and sell that. So I didn't even glaze the inside of it. I just glazed the outside. I, I really like that color. That's Mako um, Sapphire. And I'm going to cut it in half and break this piece off. Yes, I'm going to break my pottery. Um, it's for a project, a, a mosaic that I'm going to make. So... I'm really happy with it. That's a pretty color. Wow. Look at this one. So, I have to wait and see what other ones I have. I can't remember what colors they are. I'll tell you at the end. There's a lot of little I don't know if those are pinholes or if that's the clay because it's a speckled clay so it has a lot of rough grog in it see the grog so I don't know if what's in there is the grog or if I need it to glaze it a little bit more but I think I think this one had Norse blue and sorcerer's stone and I think this is actually birch I'm pretty sure that's what it is this is birch and I did birch all over on the inside and on the outside and that's why you see it right here and then probably to about right here I put the sorcerer's stone all the way around and then on top of that I put the Norse blue so I really really like the way that that dripped down just the slightest little bit I probably should have just done it higher so I could have seen more of the birch and done some on the inside but I really like it and it's not completely rounded it's so it's not gonna fit the top that I was planning on putting on it <gasps> oh. okay this one stuck to the kiln shelf and I'm upset well I'm not I'm not sure no no I'm not upset okay so this one this one had cracked all the way through on the bisque fire and so part of that project where I'm gonna break a lot of my pieces um, I decided to do this one now what's interesting 
is this is a brown speckled clay and I put white opal over it and it kind of just looks like it just is clear and it only has a few little pieces of what looks to be white so I really needed it to be white for my project but it's okay I'll um, figure something out for it but you can actually see all the way through it what I'm getting these out first wow okay so yeah here we have oh, cone 5 demolish cone 7 is slight bend and then cone 6 all the way down so like I said it's 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 right out of true cone 6 So the white opal and the birch came out looking pretty identical. This I put a light flux in. I put a light flux right at the top, a very, very, very small amount. Um, and I can't remember, I think it's Sorcerer's Stone, or it might be the Sapphire, actually, Mako Sapphire on there. So, uh, again, this is not center, I mean, circular, so I'm not going to be able to put the top on. But I know when I brushed, I kind of brushed, tried to brush like that a little bit. And this is this is birch so the birch and the <coughs> white opal on this brown speckled clay kind of comes out the same color so only one test tile fell over and it landed on the witness cone okay so on the bottom shelf, cone five, cone six, cone seven. So I am right at, the top shelf is right at cone six because the cone seven is like this on the top shelf. All the rest of the shelves, the cone seven did bend, but the six is more what it's supposed to be. So I think I'm firing right at a six. Last thing. It's a planter I made. First time. I'm not even going to try and tell you the colors other than I know that this has Norse blue on top. <laughs> and there's another color under it. <laughs> uh, but I don't remember which color. And then this. I don't remember. But I did attempt to do the bottoms with the glaze. And it did not stick. Now I only put one coat of the glaze on the bottom and then the rim is so uh it's so high up i was like okay well it shouldn't drip and it didn't so it gave me a clean look what you think of this one mm -hmm. it's a lot of blues so the brown speckled clay definitely darkens colors i mean they look good which is not exactly what I thought they would turn out to look like. But I'm pretty happy with this kiln opening, except for all the pinholes. And I really don't know how to get rid of those. So if you have any ideas on how to get rid of the pinholes, please let me know. Put a comment below. So thanks. I had my glaze fire and I showed y'all everything as it was coming out. I'm kind of disappointed. I like the colors. I love the colors actually on most of the pieces. 
and I think they came out great. The one thing that I'm kind of disappointed about is they had a lot of pinholes in them. So I, I've i been researching online and asking comments on the Beginner Potteries, Facebooks groups, and stuff like that on how to correct the pinholes for in the future and how to correct them, the pieces that I have. So I will attempt to reglaze those pieces to see if that helps with the pinhole problem. Also, any future pieces that I make, I'm going to really watch the way that I am applying the glaze to see if that changes anything. And if that doesn't help, and I'm still firing at the same cone six with a six minute hold and they're still creating pinholes, then I'm going to have to find what I need to change in the future. So I'm gonna take it one step at a time to, to troubleshoot and find what that issue is. So, but I'm very happy with my pieces and I hope y'all enjoyed watching the video where I opened up my uh, kiln for the third time. It's uh, exciting for me. It's very exciting for me and I hope it's exciting for you. Let me know in the comments which pieces you like that you would want to see more of and maybe tell me some of the colors you think that I should try. Thank you to all those who have subscribed to my channel. Your support is going to continue to help me through my pottery journey and um, I'm having an amazing time. So thank you. I gotta figure out a bit better view on this. Okay, I think that's a better view. Although you can't see. I'll be right back.